Hello, Bill Molyneux here for Bill's War Game World and Bill's History World. Well, um, we're closing out the month of September. I'm doing a chit chat video um, with Goober the Traveling Bear. We're going to talk about the Barrage War Game event that happened with the Hawks War Gaming Group in, in Heather D. Grace, Maryland. We're going to go over some of the cool stuff I picked up and some uh, talks about Goober and our upcoming fundraisers and uh, some very nice uh, comments from some people that were at the convention and also uh, we're just going to start right in with yeah, as you know I don't do too much of the fantasy uh, war gaming too much um, especially Marvel but my neighbor across the street Tay him and his family are awesome so I got him a uh, Spider-Man Doc Ock um, miniatures game. So hopefully uh, he'll uh, put this thing together and we'll have a couple beers and um, Spider-Man will uh, get attacked by Doc Ock. All right. So I have, uh, I picked up a lot of 54 millimeter Zulu and British for the Anglo-Zulu War. Um, this purchase helped the um, children's program that the Hawks are doing on their own. Um, and that's where they make miniature war game box sets. And they give these sets to um, kids at war game conventions. Um, next thing I'd like to talk about is my Mark's 54 millimeter figures. The gentleman that was selling these. Um, very nice. And he watches both of my channels. And it's uh, amazing. He lives near some of those sites that we visited with Goober the Traveling Bear and I. And he had never been to them. So now he's out and about. These are very old Marks figures. Um, very, very cool to find these. Now, on the table here, um, Josh Warlip, the 3D Printer King, um, warts 3 dprintsgmail I believe it is. Um, he 3D printed my Belgium infantry. Uh, they are just fantastic. My plan is I'm going to do a lot of early war, World War II bolt action. I feel the um, early war military history of our uh, of Europe. Um, has been neglected. There's a lot of talk about Arnhem, D-Day, Battle of the Bulge, but the sacrifices that the men that fought in the opening years in France and Belgium, um, I feel that's being neglected. So I want to hit that in my miniature war games coming up here in the fall. So excuse me, let me get us some coffee. So now, we're going to pause. All right, everyone. After that short pause, I wanted to go over the these figures. Jim Shaw, I mean, he's an incredible painter. Really amazing how well he did on these figures for me. Uh, this machine gun crew. Now, I made a video of Jim and his painting skills at his home in Gettysburg. Got almost 4,000 views now. All right, as far as the Marks figures we were talking about, what's really neat is this figure here. There we go. Get it sighted in. Is one of the many figures. That was made in the box, the little box sets that would be sold in uh, many of the gift shops in the 60s by Marks. All right, so we've hit some of our cool stuff, our Zulus and British. And we're going to pause the camera here. All right. Well, um, 
Next thing I want to talk about, um, my donation stuff that I'm doing. Um, Gilbert the Traveling Bear, some people um, very supportive. But I do have some people that think I'm a bit nuts. But I, I just want to mention, we have the Goober the Traveling Bear calendar um, featuring historic sites all across the East Coast. And the proceeds I'm making for this will, are going to the Maryland Veterans Museum, a wonderful site. Mel and Connie work very hard there as ambassadors, historians. Um, it's one of those hidden gems in Newburgh, Maryland, near La Plata. Another thing that Goober the Traveling Bear and I have done is, with the help of several other people, we've made the Weiss Fork game. Each copy sold through Blue Panther Printing, Bill Molino Games. Um, $5 gets donated each month. And uh, very open about how many copies I've sold each month. And yeah, unfortunately, last month I only sold three. That was $15, though, that went to the Weiss Fork Battlefield Fund to save that battlefield. Um, and Goober and I, as we are making these YouTube videos like this one right now, all this money is going to Toys for Tots. And, you know, at General Mills and m and Mars, they use characters constantly to promote products. The Pillsbury Doughboy, the m and characters, um, the Honey Nut Bee. So when I got the idea of promoting and trying to help historic sites, I came up with the concept of Goober, the 40-year-old stuffed bear um, that my uh, first wife purchased. She's passed away several years ago. And uh, so just to let you know, I get letters constantly. Here's one from Braddock's Battlefield History Center, Deltaville Museum, Deltaville Maritime Museum. Conrad Weiser's homestead up in Reading, Pennsylvania. Um, Fort Ticonderoga. Gettysburg Foundation. These donations, it doesn't matter how much we're donating, we're just donating. We take a little bit of money of what we can do and also my We Gift program through my company of General Mills. And they match my donations, too, to these sites. Gilbert is just there to uh, make people laugh. And the best part about Goober is we have t-shirts, hats, and coffee mugs. It's just a neat, fun way to help promote history. And this past week, while making videos at the Fort Frederick um, State Park, Robert Ambrose, the park ranger there, who's featured in Goober Calendar for January. He took the uh, water can that's used to put out fires and hose Goober down, and it was all in fun. Um, so when you're watching my videos on both channels and you see Goober the Traveling Bear, um, don't take it to the heart of making fun of my idea, but more that... You know, if you have an extra 5 or $10, help your local historic society or local museum. Um, they could really use the help. And uh, it actually is a lot of fun to walk into a museum. And uh, people will recognize me and say, hey, you're the guy with the bear. Well, I have a lot of work to do on the war game table. We have to glue some figures down. Um, I've talked to my neighbor, Kay, and we're going to work on his Spider-Man. Doc Ock uh, gaming kit this week because it turns out it all needs to be painted. And uh, I will be working out of the Matthews Virginia house next week and looking forward to that. So Fall In is coming up, Fort William Henry game. That's where I'm going to make the donation check of the Goober check for Toys for Tots. And the Marines and Sean uh, Reese, I believe it is, they are matching that check. Right now, as of today, my YouTube channel, uh, we're at around $264. Not bad. I'm not asking for any money. I'm just asking you to watch my channels, Bill's History World with Goober the Traveling Bear, or Bill's Wargaming World, 
that's it. I'm not asking you to send me even a $1 bill. Just watch some videos and help me generate money. Because the money I generate, I'm giving back to these history sites. The Gettysburg Foundation got $320 in July for one month's worth of YouTube videos. So if you think about it, if I'm raising three, five hundred, six hundred a month. Um, that's a pretty good amount of donation money at the end of the year from just YouTube um, videos. So I'm going to go ahead and start Googling Belgium figures on poker chips. So stay safe, be kind, be courteous, be a little lighthearted when you see Goober the Traveling Bear in a video, and just laugh. Life is very short. Thank you all for watching.